having some real issues with my scala at the minute. It's doing all sorts. When I want it, when I want to speak into it, give it an instruction. Oh, come on! When I want to speak into it and give it an instruction, it gives me the total opposite of what I'm wanting to do. And then when I'm doing my regular vlogs like this, it'll just stop the music. It'll come up with random instructions. It may be time for me to chop it in and buy myself a Senna 20S. I've been looking at the Senna 20S for a while actually because they do the GoPro backpack that you can put on there so it utilises the microphone within the Senna as a microphone for your GoPro. The only thing that I'm conscious about now is that I've bought myself one of the EN187 USB Hero port adapters. Now, for those people that don't know what these wires are, they're basically, it, it's a USB cable that allows you to plug, or should I say connect, a standard GoPro, the little old iPhone type slot on the back of the GoPro. You can actually power your GoPro off of that. Now, I know you can power your GoPro from the, the, the mini USB port on the side of the GoPro, but I've got a microphone plugged into there which allows me to plug an external mic into the GoPro. So the Hero slot on the back of the GoPro, EN187, check him out on en187.com, does a variety of um, accessories, if you will, specifically aimed for GoPro users. So I'm using a GoPro Hero 4, I've got the black version, so it doesn't have the LED on the, the LCD screen on the back of it. Into the back of that, I've got the EN187 cable. So what I've done is, I've removed the battery from the GoPro altogether and I don't use batteries in it now. I power my GoPro directly from a power bank. Now the power bank that I've got is the Anker 13,000 milliamps. It's got two USB outputs and a mini USB input. So the mini USB input allows you to charge the power bank, which does take some time. You better put it on overnight and just leaving it. But the amount of power that it holds is ridiculous. I'm trying to concentrate on doing this while my Google Maps is Bluetooth into my Scala Rider. Shouting instructions at me on where to go. I'm trying to do two things at once. So I'm powering my GoPro off this anchor power bank. I'm also charging my phone at the same time, which is quite handy because I've got my phone on Bluetooth and it's Bluetooth to my Scala Rider. So as Steve, who I'm out with today, uh, just said, I'm probably generating my own electrical electrical field. The Anker power bank's pretty good because it'll charge your phone totally from flat about four times. But more importantly, what it does do is it will provide your GoPro with continuous power for something ridiculous like about four hours, which is way longer than your GoPro needs. I've got a 32 gigabyte class 10 Samsung Ultra high speed copying card, whatever it is. It's not a cheap one. It wasn't expensive. But I've got a 32 gigabyte one in here and I can fill that card up before the power bank is flat. So it's a pretty good setup that I've got now. I'm really happy with that. I don't have to worry about running out of charge halfway through a ride. I've got plenty of onboard Okay, so we're going right this roundabout. It provides me with enough power that I need while I'm on the go. I have actually got a USB cable wired to the battery on my bike under my seat, which I don't really use now. But it's there in case I need some additional power. So with the right amount of cables, not a lot of money, and the right knowledge, you don't ever have to run out of vlogging power or capacity again. Get yourself a couple more... Uh, Two miles, okay. With the, with the right amount of knowledge, not a, not a lot of cash, 
for getting the right kit, get yourself a few um, memory cards. You've got more than enough vlogging storage power. So this is the setup that I use for vlogging, showing you the cables and leads that I've mentioned in the video. This is uh, my helmet, it's an RI Quantum DNA. I have my GoPro mounted on the front. It's not the best seal all the way around, but it's been on there a good few months and it's been fine to date. The cables that I'm gonna show you in a minute, especially this one, the EN187 cable that I mentioned, I'll provide a link in the description to where I've got this from. I also got this open back as well for the GoPro, which allows the cables to fit through without needing to butcher the old case. This is actually a different case that I bought as well that's got the side part cut out that will allow me to put my microphone socket in there as well so I'll just show you the setup that I have for power in it as you can see there's no battery in there at all there's also no memory card in it at the minute so when I do power it on you'll see that it says no card so I have the Boyer microphone that I provided a link for that's rooted into the bottom of my helmet and I just have the microphone sat somewhere up here, tucked out of the way. So that's just got the, the normal 3.5mm jack end on it. It also comes with this, which is a specific connection that you'll need to plug into the mini USB socket on the side of your GoPro. Now this is the same socket that you can actually power your GoPro from but the problem with that is that if you're powering it you can't add an external mic so I need a solution that would allow me to externally power it as well as providing a microphone. So the, the GoPro Hero slot on the back, this is the GoPro Hero 4 Black, the silver one has the LCD screen on. This slot on the back is where this cable from EN187 comes in. Now although it looks like the old Apple iPhone connection, the sequences of pins inside is slightly different so you can't use the Apple one, you need a specific one. So this simply plugs into the back of the GoPro. So we've got a microphone and an external power and on the other end of this EN187 it will power into this. This is my Anker, let me pull that out. This is my Anker 13,000 double USB socket. And there's also a micro USB socket power core. Now this comes with this cable that's got a standard size USB on one end and a micro USB on the other. So when you charge this up, put it in the small slot and plug it into any USB charging device leave that on overnight there's a little bit of power left in here there's a little button on the top if you press it, it tells you how many power cells you've got left on it there's four lights on here there's only two lit because I flattened it earlier on so this cable if you take it out and swap it round you can plug into one of the two USB sockets and that will actually charge a phone that has a mini or micro USB slot like most of the Samsung Galaxies. You can buy a separate cable if you do have an iPhone. But what's more important about this is at the other end of this EN187 cable, you can plug that into here. Now what I've found is if you have a battery in here, this won't work. And what you have to do first is power this on before 
you turn your GoPro on. So you can see there, the GoPro's powered with no battery in, straight from the power core. I just took this into my jacket, plug that into the front of my helmet. It's got an internal mic and that allows me to continually vlog for somewhere in the region of around four hours. Basically your memory card is going to run out before this runs out if it's fully charged. To me, to date, this is the optimal setup purely because I was using a, a Drift 1080 HD camera previous to the GoPro that I used to mount on the side of my helmet which was fantastic, I had a, an external microphone on that but the picture quality from the GoPro the fact that you can control it from your mobile phone and also that it offers 4K recording if you couple that up with a decent memory card you've got continual vlogging for a, a really long time basically if you've got any questions about this or if you're having any problems setting this up just drop me some uh, drop me some questions below and I'll do my best to answer them I, I ran into a few niggles when I first set this up but I've got my head around what I need to do now and it, it really is a simple solution it just gives you worry free vlogging worry free setup and I think I paid £25 for this, £24.99 for this. The microphone was about £15 from eBay. I think the case for this with the, with the slot in the side, that was probably about £10-£12. And then the EN187 cable, that was $26.00. And I think the the open door for the for the back of this, which just fits straight on through this pin, just click straight off. That was an additional six dollars, and I think EN one eight seven charged me about five pounds shipping in total. So it's not an expensive solution really, and if you consider that the batteries for the GoPro, which only last somewhere around forty five minutes are about 19 20 pounds each i've got a couple of them and i just don't i don't need them anymore because i've got everything that i need out of my power bank